Okay, this portion, I'm gonna show you how to cut out a box. So let's take this box for example. I wanna cut out a little box here in the front. So the way I do that is do X marks the spot to find the center of this plane and X marks the spot to find the center of this plane and then I can cut out the box and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so X marks the spot on this plane. The vanishing point needs to go off to the left. X marks the spot for this right plane. Vanishing point goes off to the right. So you can keep that center section. Now if I draw a completely vertical line in each section, that will create part portions of the box. Now that I've found the center of this line and the center of that line, I can close it off. Look, that has already been drawn in there. That's pretty nice. And that has too. That's really nice. So now I have a box cut out on top of this box. If I want to make it look like it's cut out, I just erase a few of the lines. So now I've just erased all the lines inside of that box and I need to make it look like it's inside. So I'm going to draw these lines in from the center points of these planes to the vanishing points. Now where they intersect should be the same intersection of this point. You just draw a vertical line there. Now I have a box that is cut out of this entire box. That's how you cut out a box. Pretty easy. You can do the same thing by doing X marks the spot, making it even smaller, finding out where that center point is. Go to that point. X marks the spot for this section right here. Find that center point, go out, go vertical, go vertical. Go to that vanishing point, that vanishing point. Now you have another little box. So you can cut boxes out of boxes. You can add boxes on top of boxes by doubling the size. Either way, you can cut out all those boxes and that's an important thing to know. So on the next thing, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to create an ellipse or a circle in perspective.